for Jacob to settle down. After battles and hassles and running around, Jacob had found no peace until now, so he prayed that the days of struggle would be behind him so calm and ease could find him now Rachel was Jacob's favourite wife and having a favourite made for some strife amongst the sons of the other mothers there was much dis-ease amongst the brothers the twelve of them knew that until now in each generation of the family saga there was a recurring sibling drama only one brother would get singled out to get their dad's blessing and no doubt from their perspective, you were either the one selected or else you get rejected. That was just the model they'd accepted. They didn't know a new way would prevail. That they, the 12 tribes of Israel, would form a people of rich and varied talents, coexisting in perfect balance. A multi dimensional society of Jews shining through many different hues. But this they couldn't compute. Competition was the only way they knew. So when Jacob gives Joseph a many coloured coat, it causes hatred in a way that might have been anticipated because Joseph was clearly his daddy's chosen favourite. And remember, Joseph was only 17. He didn't know better than to tell his dreams. Listen to this. We were binding sheaves in the field and our destinies were revealed when my sheaves stood up tall and proud and yours all gathered around and bowed. Now his brothers were angry and jealous and Joseph began to sense their menace and although he was young and naive and vain he already had a deeper faith that everything would work out for the best and with this he passed the test when the brothers were tending sheep in Shechem Jacob sent Joseph to check up on them He knew his brothers would be there waiting he knew the danger that he was facing But putting on a brave face He made his way to that strange place Where he'd been told he'd find his bros And sure enough, as he approached They saw him from a distance They knew his strutting in an instant But all they saw was Peacock pride He didn't know deep inside The dreamer had begun to change He'd realised what was on the way They grabbed him, but he wrestled free And threw himself at each one's feet And begged for freedom Life and peace, he begged that he might be released But that wasn't what was meant to be The brothers stripped Joseph of his colourful coat And cast him into a deep moat They gave the coat to Jacob, died bloody red And he mourned for his son, his favourite, now presumed dead So instead of dwelling in peace, Jacob lived for years with tears and grief Meanwhile merchants found Joseph in that deep crypt and they sold him as a slave and he ended up in Egypt where a powerful Egyptian baselessly accused him of rape so he was most unjustly thrown in jail but in the end his faith prevailed Joseph became a chief inside the prison because it seemed God was with him interpreting dreams for imprisoned servants he knew who'd be hung and who would return to Pharaoh's service and that is where Vayeshev ends the curtain falls and our good friend Joseph is living in an Egyptian prison.